Hi guys, coming to you with a, another quick video on iPad and Design Space. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to create a shadow for your text in Design Space because right now you can do like offsetting but you can't really create um, you know like a shadow look for your words. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let's go to my handy dandy Fonto. And if you don't have it, just go to your app store and then you type in Fonto and you choose uh, Fonto text on photos. And if you don't have it, it will say get like these do, but I have it already. So it says open. So you're just going to click open. And I'm just going to click reset because I just finished doing something else. So now you just click the camera, click on plain images. You want to click that white background, click right here, click use. And now you just want to type in, add, you want to click on add text. And what word are we going to use? Hmm, let's go with together. Done. Going with together. All right. So now I just want to slide over here and I'm going to duplicate this. Put that one right there. I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm going to change the color. So I want to go to style. Let's go with my favorite color here. Done. And so went to style and clicked on the color all right so we're gonna work with this one now so you just want to click on it and we want to go back into style all right and we want to go to stroke and so basically what we're trying to do is we just want to make a shadow with this so we're gonna be working with alpha and width so I always start with my alpha. And as you see, as I start doing that, you'll notice that the text is getting a little gray around it. So then I start moving in the width. And see it's moving. And I keep going until I get that darkness of the shadow. You see right there keep moving it until now see you see right there you have those uh, dots I don't want those so I'm gonna move it back like that there we go because that's one less thing like that the Cricut will have to cut in there so I want to just make it dark so now I'm done with that so I click done and now to bring this on top I'm just gonna double tap and now I have a shadow for my together. And when I get into design space, I can do what I want. So now, just put that right there. And all we're gonna do is click our save here. We're gonna save it as a PNG. Saved. Now let's go back into Cricut. I'm going to click upload, select from the photo library. I'm going to click on that. Okay, do it slowly, my friend. All right, now we're going to click our remove 
So first we're going to get rid of that background. And you see that opens up for us. And now, just want to bring it in so I can click on that O. You see that O open? Just move this over so I can get this R. Alright, so then we're just going to go next. We've got both of our pieces here. And now, give it a name. Okay. Now, click on it. Click insert. And it is here now. So now, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Bring it over. And now I just need to separate these two. So just bring in your shape. Super simple. Unlock it. Go to Actions. Click Slice. All right, now we're separate. You can click on that. You go to Edit. You want to change the color to whatever color you want to choose. You want to pick you a custom color. Hit apply. There you have it. All right, you want to bring it to the front. You click on arrange, send to front. And there you go. Lock that back, and now you can bring it back to whatever size you feel is necessary. You can unlock it, do what you want, lock it back, take it apart, and you got your shadow there. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. So you just go to Fonto and uh, download the app and then you just go in there, you choose your uh, word, you create your shadow, bring it into Design Space. It's just that easy. If you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and make sure you click on that bell notification so that you can get notifications whenever I post up a new video. I will see you guys later.